development. The journey that every country goes on to try be richer and better. But how do we tell if a country is more developed than another? How do we decide? What comes to mind when I say development? Factories? Cars? The latest technology? Lots of pollution? Lots of money? Today we will look at how we can measure the development of different places by a few different factors. <music> development of a country or region refers to how that place has changed or improved over time. So this then begs the question, what criteria do we use to measure how a place has improved? How do we decide how developed a place is? There are three main aspects of development. Firstly, the economic aspect of development, which looks at how a country is developing in terms of wealth and money. Secondly, the social aspect of development looks at how a country is developing in terms of its community and the general well-being of its citizens. And thirdly, the environmental aspect of development looks at how people are using resources as well as the impact of people on the environment. All three of these aspects are linked together and all ultimately support a person's general well-being, their happiness, their health and their comfort. We can use these three aspects of development, economic, social and environmental, to try and help us measure the development of a certain place. And then we call them development indicators, which is in a separate video which you can watch after this. Now, as I said earlier, we can use all three of these aspects of development to measure how developed a country is. But there is an interesting concept called the Human Development Index, which focuses specifically on the economic aspects of development and the social aspects of development. So in other words, the Human Development Index doesn't include any information about the environmental aspect of development. The Human Development Index is measured every year and it measures the health, education and wealth of a certain country. It takes into account things like the GDP per capita, life expectancy, the literacy levels of that country, and it uses all of this information to try and determine how developed this country is. Or in other words, how happy those citizens are, what their quality of life is. The Human Development Index is ranked from 0 to 1 and generally places with a higher life expectancy and better education and better healthcare rank at a higher score. Whereas countries that have lower education levels, a lower life expectancy, poorer literacy rates, a lower quality of life are going to be ranked lower on the scale. The highest score on the Human Development Index is 1. Currently, in 2020, Norway is ranked the number one country in the world in terms of its Human Development Index. Norway's current score is 0 0.953, so that's pretty close to 1. Switzerland is in second place with a score of 0 0.944, and Australia is third with a score of 0 0.939. The country with the lowest human development index at this point in time is ranked at 0 0.354, which is the country in Niger. This is because food security is a major problem in Niger. Many people suffer from malnutrition and a lot of people live in poverty. There is definitely a general trend when it comes to how developed or underdeveloped a country is. You may have heard your parents talking about a first or second or third world country and these sorts of concepts are outdated now. We use terms such as a developed country or a developing country. We can also use the terms MEDC, which stands for more economically developed country, or LEDC, which stands for less economically developed country. MEDCs usually have a higher human development index, while LEDCs usually have a lower human development index. It's important to remember that when we look at development statistics, we are looking at the average conditions for an entire country. 
In South Africa, for example, parts of South Africa are much more developed than other parts. Some places in South Africa are so well developed and might even be considered to be the same as other MEDCs. However, a lot of South Africa is still developing, which is why, as a whole, South Africa is still considered to be an LEDC. MEDCs, which stands for More Economically Developed Countries, usually have a higher quality of life and higher income levels, whereas LEDCs, on the other hand, stands for Less Economically Developed Countries and, on average, have a lower quality of life and lower income levels. Let's have a look at some of the differences between an MEDC and an LEDC. In terms of jobs, people in LEDCs usually have jobs revolving around primary activities, such as farming. They also tend to be high unemployment in LEDCs. Whereas in MEDCs, most people are employed and are working in jobs such as manufacturing and services. In LEDCs, infant mortality is quite high, which means that babies are at a higher risk of dying within their first year of life. Whereas in MEDCs, healthcare tends to be better, which means that infant mortality rate tends to be lower and more babies survive. Infant mortality refers to the number of babies per 1,000 births who die within their first year of life, and this includes children who die at birth. In terms of exports, LEDCs generally export unprocessed raw materials, whereas MEDCs mainly export processed and manufactured goods. When we talk about exports, we are talking about the products that a certain country is selling to other countries. So for example, South Africa grows a lot of fruits and vegetables, and we sell these fruits and vegetables to other countries. Fruits and vegetables are one of our main exports. In LEDCs, population growth is very rapid, whereas in MEDCs, it can be quite slow and steady. Life expectancy refers to the age a person can expect to reach. This is an average age calculated for each country and will be different in each country. And it can be impacted by various factors, such as natural disasters or differences in healthcare. Life expectancy tends to be a lot lower in LEDCs and on average is under 45 years. Whereas in MEDCs, it tends to be a lot higher and the average life expectancy in an MEDC is usually over 70 years. In terms of education, LEDCs generally have lower literacy levels and children often do not finish the entire schooling process. Whereas with MEDCs, most people have 12 years of schooling and there tends to be very high literacy levels. Literacy rate refers to the percentage of the population, usually over the age of 15, who are able to read and write. Now it's time for Sharky's bite-sized lesson! Development refers to how a place has changed or improved over time. There are three main aspects of development, economic, social, and environmental. When we use these three aspects of development to determine how developed a place is, we call them development indicators. The Human Development Index, or HDI, measures the health, wealth, and education of a country and is measured every year with a ranking between 0 and 1. The Human Development Index only includes economic and social aspects of development, not environmental. Places that have a higher income and higher quality of life will have a higher Human Development Index, whereas places with lower income levels or a lower quality of life have a lower human development index. We use the terms MEDCs and LEDCs to refer to how a developed a country is. MEDC stands for more economically developed countries and these places have higher income levels and a higher quality of life, whereas LEDCs stands for less economically developed countries and these countries have lower income levels and a lower quality of life. And that is it for development issues. Go back and rewatch anything that you need to recap. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!